Good morning, good morning. Wasn't going to be on long one to send a quick word. I think it's something as a prophetic people um, that we need to know. Like I say, it's not just for people with titles. I'm not just saying for prophets and prophetess. I mean, you can you can be a prophetic person and not actually be a prophet. But I'm going to discuss a little bit of that today. I label this prophetic sensibility because many of us, we're hearing it from God. But it's very important to also sift your spirit, uh, especially when you're trying to hear from God. It's very important. And why I say it's critical when even when you're going through in your mind, that's why he says, let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. As he says, I'll keep you also at perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. So you have to keep your mind on Jesus in order to really hear clear. See, a lot of us, we don't have clarity. A lot of the words we send out is confusion, it's cloudy. But you say, God, give me the spirit of clarity, not only so I can hear, so I can get this revelation out for your people. And what I want to talk about prophetic uh, sensibility is because a lot of us, see, we think we're hearing from God when we're hearing from our flesh. It's very dangerous to be led by your flesh because when you start operating out of flesh, you start operating out of rebellion. You start going towards divination, which is witchcraft. It's very important to stay connected to God. I mean, even with trials and tribulations, even around the people that you're around, you have to be careful what you're listening to because these things can get in your spirit and you can go to praying and seeking God and you need a message from God. All of a sudden you send out a message that's not even connected to God. That's therefore you'll be sending out a message that's connected to your flesh, which is emotions co uh, com compared to how you feel compared to what's going on. See, a lot of times we send in our words that's in our spirit, man. That's why I say you have to learn prophetic sensibility, learn to get the voice of God audibly, be able to see what God's saying, dreams and visions. But you have to be very careful when you when you're very um, emotional person, when you're being emotionally led, emotionally driven by your flesh. As a prophetic person, you have to be careful because you don't want to send up, send up the wrong word. You don't want to send out the wrong word. That's going to start confusion. That's not going to bring clarity. Start being led by the spirit in this hour. Also begin to sift your spirit. Begin to decipher in your spirit. Begin to get certain things out of your spirit. Because what's in you will come out of you. This is why I say you can't associate with everybody. This is why I say you have to disconnect from people that's not connected to God. Everybody cannot speak into your life. Because don't you know the words that they're speaking can lie doormat in your soul. And which is going to cause you to speak out of what you hear. You're going to speak because of what you feel. You have to learn to listen to what God is saying and be connected to God. Also, when you're meditating in prayer, have a clear mind. A lot of us, we think we see in visions, but you're seeing things concerning what you're connected to, what you're doing. A lot of us are outside the will of God, but we're trying to hear from God. If you really want to hear from God, stay connected to God. If you really want to hear, hear from God, stay in the face of God. Because it's about prophetic sensibility. You have to be led by God and not be led by your, your spirit. Your spirit, flesh, you have to learn to be led by God because there's no good thing that dwelleth in this flesh. I don't want to listen to my flesh. I want to hear what God is saying. But if you're constantly listening to what other people are saying, how can you hear God? Hey, God bless you. If you're constantly listening to others, you can't hear God. When you got people in your ear. When you listen to everything, you receiving everything what people are speaking into your life, you cannot allow everybody to speak into your life because it's going to bring confusion. You won't have clarity. This is why you say, God, give me discernment. What voice is speaking to me? Is it the enemy or is it you? Sometimes it's your flesh. That flesh will speak any and everything. The flesh is contrary to the spirit of God. So anything that God is speaking, glory to God, the flesh is going to try to buck up against it. The flesh is obedient. The flesh don't want to obey God. The flesh don't want to obey the voice of God. It's about prophetic sensibility. You cannot be led by your emotions. You can't be led by this flesh. 
especially when people are counting on the word that's in, in that the anointing that's on your life. People are counting on that word. Don't you know that some people are waiting for a word just from you? There are people who are waiting to hear what God is saying because there are people who aren't yet hearing from God. That doesn't mean they're not going to hear from the, him eventually. There's some people that's counting on a word from God. So this is why I say you have to sift these things that's in your spirit. As God say, my sheep know my voice and a stranger will not follow, right? Are you really hearing from God? Are you really hearing from God? Are you really hearing from your flesh? One thing about it, don't you realize that the demonic and the prophetic can sound the same? It can sound identical. Just because, this is why I say just because somebody prophesies doesn't mean it's coming from God. Just because you hear a word and it sounds good and you you hear a little bit of scripture and it sounds prophetic. Hey, God bless you. Just because it sounds prophetic, that doesn't mean it's God. Something can look like God, but it not be God. This is why I say you have to have discernment. Not only this, but this is for people. This is this scope here is for prophetic people. The ones that have been led by your spirit. You've been led by your senses instead of being led by God. You've been led by your flesh. And when I say led by your spirit, it's flesh. Because your spirit can oppose what God is doing because you're in this flesh. There is no good thing in this flesh. God go, what God will go to giving you revelation and speaking things, but your flesh try to fight against revelation. Your flesh will make you question what God spoke to you. This is why I say you need to be watchful and mindful of prophetic sensibility. Your flesh will speak things to you. Your, your flesh will put things in your mind and you'll be like, wow, why am I thinking that? It's because of your flesh. No good thing dwells within this flesh. Your flesh will speak to you day in and day out. This is why you have to soak in God. You got to soak in the spirit. You got to soak in the word. You got to stay connected to God because your flesh is not going to make it easy. <laughs> Your flesh is going to fight against what the spirit is doing. Anything you try to do for God, flesh is going to oppose every time. This is why you stay rooted in God. You stay rooted in prayer and say, God, let me be led by my spirit and not by my emotions. Because there are people who are counting on a word from you. They want to hear what you're saying in this hour. So I want to be obedient. I want to send a word to set people free, to give somebody direction. Not only that, but to turn back from where you're going. See, real prophecy gives you direction. It gives you instruction. It lets you know where you're going. It gives you a mirror. That's why I say I don't understand when people prophesy money and cars. But when you're not seeing that, that's when they're being led by their flesh. That's why I'm telling y'all people are being led by their emotions. They've been caught up in emotions. Don't you know how many prophets who are anointed, but they get caught up in their flesh? Some of you are anointed. Yes, I'm prophetically speaking now. Some of you are so anointed. God is speaking to you. The gift of prophecy is upon your life. You know who God called you to be. See, you, you, God validated you. Man didn't validate you. But see, you start being led by your emotions. You start being led by what's going on around you, how you feel. It's very important to stop going off how you feel instead of going off what God is saying. It's very important. It's serious. And, and especially being a prophetic mouthpiece, as an oracle of God, we are speaking the things of God. We are speaking miracles. We are speaking breakthroughs. Those that are led by the spirit are sons of God. We are not to be led by this flesh. Be led by God in Jesus name. Y'all want to send this message? about prophetic sensibility because people a lot of people are saying god is saying when god isn't saying that could be your flesh you have to know the difference between if it's god speaking to you and when it's flesh speaking to you i'm telling y'all it could be a lot of confusion you're not sending people clarity only because you're going off what the flesh what your flesh is saying have you ever got a prophecy and you didn't quite understand the prophecy you're like wow this person spoke a word, but it was more confusing than it was clarity. You know why it was like that? Because that word came from their flesh. If anybody is in the spirit, watch this. If anybody is truly in the spirit, 
the word you get from God, that thing is going to hit you. Not only that, but that the word that you get from God is going to cut this flesh in two. Don't you know the word of God is sharper and powerful than any two edged sword. The word, when it comes from God, you're going to know it's God. Just like when God speaks to you and dreams and vision, when God sends you a dream, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all, listen, when God sends you a dream, when God is speaking, you're going to know it's God. I don't care how much you try to act like it's not him. I don't care how much flesh try to drown his voice out or whatever. When God is speaking, you will know it's God because also your spirit is going to bear witness. Your spirit is going to bear witness to what's speaking to you. That's just like people speaking into your life. You're going to have discernment. Your spirit is going to bear witness if this message is from God or not. But what people are doing now is they're being led by their flesh. They're not. They don't have discernment. They don't have discernment and they're not judging prophecy. You are to judge prophecy. You can't receive every word spoken into your life. You have to judge that word because that word may be coming from the wrong spirit. Hello, wrong spirit, flesh. That's all it is. That's a different spirit. Don't you know the enemy will pull on your flesh? The enemy will use your flesh because you, your flesh is no good. You see, this is why I'm saying when God is speaking to you, there's going to be clarity. There's not going to be no confusion. You have to understand the voice of God in this hour. Because I think it's very critical. There are people, and this is uh, for you, the people you desire to hear from God. You'll never hear from God if you're not staying connected to God. You want to hear from God? Spend time with God. It's that simple. If you want to hear from God, up your prayer life more than five minutes a day. Up your prayer life, to, I say like 15, 20 minutes a day. Just gradually, you'll gradually build up your prayer life. If you just start somewhere, if you just step out and just say, God, just fast. You can go on a fast. T uh, t uh, turn the cell phone off. Cut off social media. Come off YouTube. Come off Periscope. Come off Facebook. There are things you have to do in order to get to that place in God. To go to another realm in God, it takes sacrifice. So in order to really hear from God, you have to press into the face of God. You'll never hear what God is saying if you're not trying to stay connected. But I'm just trying to help somebody today to be encouraged. If you want to hear from God, press into the face of God. All right, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Share this message.